is not even. So there are many others. So when you are the in the classroom, you are arranging. So in the classroom arrangement, or other arrangement, they came up with many different types of classrooms. Okay, these are types of classrooms, right? This is called four squares, one square, one square, one square, one square. Can you tell me what's the advantage of this? Four squares. Good for what? Group discussion, collaborative. So the, the students are looking at each other's face, right? You're looking at each other's face. If you there, before the classroom, students are looking at what? A teacher and the student's head. So if you wonder, let's say, Mr. Ellen, uh, uh, let's say why, why he was talking, I was sitting there. I Hey, Dr. Yunus, what are you doing? What are you doing? Three, one time. Father, what's up? Hey, Dr. Yunus, what are you doing? Hey, Dr. Yunus, what are you doing? Instead of listening to what Elangelin is saying, you look at my head. And then that becomes a center of attention. Correct or not? But, and then, you have even noticed now in some cases, I'm going to study more. There are some students short sitting at the back looking like this to see the blackboard. If some of you teachers, you would have noticed. Because on the blackboard, the students were sitting at the back who want to study. Not like me, who are sitting at the back and want to sleep. Students in the back and want to study. Park at the blackboard. So you put it, you put it, you put it, you put it, you put Right now. Right? So this kind of class arrangement are good for collaborative. And you look at each other's face, not at people's head. So you look at the teacher, you get to see the teacher, and you get to see the, your colleagues. The only thing is you won't see everybody, right? you only see four people. Okay? <laughs> then this is uh, what's called building block, double O, dippers. In the Maria, there are 20, 30 different types of configuration, depending on what subject you're teaching. Depending on what subject you're teaching. So if I was to teach Sajara, which is the best? Or if I were to teach geography, what is the best type of classroom? If I were to teach Arivial, what is the best? Science, what is the best? Math, what is the best? Method, classroom. So if Allah is going to do it, they do in America, in some classes, and in the classroom, and the class, and the class, science, Arivial, and the subject, and the classroom, and the classroom, Okay. They configure the classroom in a way that the class. So how do they solve this problem of the students sitting there? So Arivel Murichita. Arivel Panavande or Nupranamasata. And the Arivel Panavande Muniche. Finish it. If you want to geography, let me history. History, maybe the, this kind of arrangement is good. Finish it. If you want to problem solve it. School lab. Change the classroom. So there, what they do is, teachers, students sit still. In Malaysia, the students sit in one place. And this one is practical. What I'm telling you is practical. This is simple, simple methods you can use. Right? Students sit in one place, teachers will move. Other Malaysia. Correct or not? Correct or not? Oh, clear. Sorry. And then, uh, but like in America, in some place in Britain, it's the other way around. The teachers will stand still. The teacher has got a history classroom, not just class, classroom. The students will move. Come here, teacher. And uh, LPS, para para LPS, how did it? Huh? Right? So that's how they do. Then you've got this kind of stadium arrangement stadium. This is called a different teaching space, which is called the runway model. So runway model na na the face more na ingen the face matter. Ingen the face Okay, what's the advantage of me standing here? Yeah, tapo mo dere, pinalo ng tapo mo dere. Okay, kaya na exercise la. Adi ano ba? Okay, educational, informal. Okay. 
from outside of classroom. Right? This is what they say. Lah. The informal learning, right? Learning outside the classroom, right? Has got massive potential because it gives meaning and context. Meaning and context. Right? Such experience proof emotional. Because this emotion, uh, Mr. Lunjal and Prasnatra, the emotion is very important. Right? Because it's emotionally related. There's every one of us have got different reasons. Some of you, maybe you're forced to come. Huh? Some of you, because you want to improve the students, this one. So, and the other like, emotion. Correct? Correct? A lot of it is emotionally related. Right? So, informal education outside of classroom has got this potential, the emotions. Because classroom is not the case, it is not the case. 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 It is not the ஆனா <laughs> Now, let's talk about context, right? For context, what is the difference between uh, the, the day we were talking, remember, the space, right? What's the distance from KL to London? So there's many ways of explaining. One is, it's 10,500 kilometers. 10,500 kilometers. Another is, it's 10.5, 10.5 million meters. 10.5 million meters. Let's say 10.5 billion centimeters. Billion. If it's not Allah, if it's not Allah, billion, million, it's not Allah. Billion, it's not Allah. So 10.5 billion centimeters. Which is the correct, which is the best way to explain? Let's go back down. It's, it's also 15 trips from KL to Penang and come back. That means KL Penang point to our end, point to our end, is the same distance to one trip to London. Okay, Panjwati point to our end, KL Penang end, Panjwati point to our end, equivalent to one trip to London. Okay, or if I'm driving the highway 100 kilometers an hour, non-stop the highway, it will take me 105 hours or 4.5. Days. Nal re nal le vande continuous hour vati kide enda 100 kilometers an hour London la pay send ro. So na pay vande pay vande or or man or kare. We want to explain so that he understands. He truly understands la. Not memorize. Ni kisuti na 10.5 enda de enda month. 10,500 kilometers to London. Ama va teacher sorry. Even if you kill the teacher, you memorize the exam answer. But does he really understand what it means? And the 10,000 kilometers now, you will have to do it. 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 10,500 kilometers. Right? So, but what is the best way to explain? So, this is what's called contextual. So, let's say our hometown is Penang, Dipali, Dipali, every holiday he goes back to Penang. This man is going to go back to Penang. So, you, which is the best way to explain? Huh? It's to say this. It is to say it is 15 return trips. 
So ni kende ni sula, ni kende perende pinang petu orang la, warset goreng petu orang la, panjang jauh panjang jauh panjang jauh warso, ni mana ni kesi ni kena, warso warso pinang petu orang la, that same distance is one trip from here to London. It's easier to understand, and this is what's called pedagogy lah, because big numbers are difficult to understand. Big numbers are difficult to understand. So let's come back to this. Huh? What do we learn from this? This fact. What are we learning from this? Or what do, are you? Or what does the, uh, the student learn from this? What is he learning? <laughs> He's learning about distance. He's learning about units because it's got kilometer, meter, hour. Right? He's learning to compare. Compare. So, you can see the difference between the two. You can see the difference between the two. But, hey, London, you can see the difference between the two. He's learning to compare. He's learning to compare. He's learning one more very important thing. Actually, there's a lot of things he's learning. A lot, huh? But let's talk about, let's go to units. And the units are clear. What other things is he learning about units? Let's go back to the design. Right? Between km and meter, what is he learning? Units by Krola. What are we teaching the kid? Or what is the kid learning? Every converter. Sorry, conversion. Someone? What is the special thing about these units? Because we have to know everything. We have to know the background, the discipline, all that. It becomes effective, we can contextualize. Because we memorize, memorize, memorize. So we have to memorize, memorize. Hey, yeah, 10,000. Hey, exam result, we have to do it. We have to do it. answer. Exam result of Frita or is that for no, you are a potter fail. A category after number school under one of the chain. Cast category Ade, Yidi, Ade, Yidi, Yidi, after Arthur School and there and Arthur School and then Namalapate, Kalitoponia. And the money. You got an other one man. Unfortunately, and the Nelvik Namanta, the science fair and the comparison, and the Sunday Rikila, you and the exam Munijona, and the science fair Munijona, our empty Jacono, Nathan and Lala Sinja, you may empty Jacono, and the very professional of Adata Sion. Right? Coming back to this, what other things he's learning very important in terms of units? Right? Kilometer and meter, what is this? It's called what's called a multiplier. Right? So what is a multiplier? What is a multiplier? Something that multiplies, correct? So this is a multiplier. Multiplier, 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 multiplier. Take that. Hello. It's a multiplier. This is what's called a multiplier. That unit is doing the same thing what this mic is doing. Good? So instead of me putting 10 million 500 thousand meters, I just multiply it and put 10,500 kilometers. So when we learn units, we need to teach also that there's this thing called multipliers. In that day, CM, CM under 1000 CM under uh, the chief minister, la, chief minister, la, CM, centimeter. Huh? That is chief minister. La. In the 1000 chief ministers, Malaysia is more than a chief, Pandala, Ila, Pandamuna, Sari, Chief Minister, Mantra Visa. 1000 CM equals 1 meter, 1000 meter equals to 1 kilometer. Teachers, April, either in the Kelvial and Tolit than a cake, Karen.